everybody and welcome to day two of vlogtober um to be quite honest i didn't even know it was vlogtober until well until i saw it on some like pages i don't really know honestly how i saw it but i didn't even know and like yesterday i posted a video on october 1st and like wow it just like works out so we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna try really hard to do vlogtober right and since it was so last minute and like I didn't really have any ideas, I thought like, well, what could I do? <sighs> Why not an afternoon snack time with Zach? So, I watch Food Network quite frequently. Um, I watch tasting videos quite frequently. Like, I like feel like <coughs> I kind of know like how to cook, right? With like ingredients that you would just have in your kitchen or something like that. I don't know. So today, I didn't, um, well, I didn't actually think about this until I was actually cooking it, but, well, I didn't really even cook microwave I mean. But I'll go ahead and show you what I had, and we're just going to, like, try it. I've never had this before. Um, so, what my inspiration was, was kind of like, um, you know, oh, let's see, who's hit my lineup. Um, my inspiration was, like, a Mexican-ish style pizza because we had, like, queso and stuff in the refrigerator. So, <clears throat> I took these tortilla shells. I took two of them, um, and I laid one down flat. And I was like, oh, like pizza, we have to have sauce, so. In our refrigerator, we had roasted herb, no, roasted garlic and herb prego, like right there. And I just did like a couple like dollops on the pizza. And then I was like, mm, well, we need some. I got queso blanco cheese right there. All right, yeah, focus, come on. Well, anyway, it's the white cheese that Tostitos does. And then, oh, I forgot downstairs. I also did like Fiesta Blend cheese from Walmart. We have like a big old bag of it. If you can't tell, I love cheese. Like that's where like this, that's why this never is gonna be gone, like my double chin, because I just freaking love cheese and I'm never getting, I'm never not gonna love cheese, okay? And then, um, listen, okay. So I didn't have any meat or anything to like put on it and stuff. And so I was just gonna do like that, but then I remember I have these Tostitos black bean and garlic. <laughs> these are freaking good. Okay, even if you don't wanna try this, like you just have to try these. And they are literally delicious. I had them at, when I was at the lake one weekend and I, f I fell in love with them. So that's all that's in there. And then I just microwaved it. Um, I'm already regretting that I didn't toast the shells beforehand, like put them in the oven, just like crisp them up a little bit. Cause I already tell it's gonna be a little soggy. I don't really like song. Ooh, it's in a little messy. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. So, oh, and I, <laughs> I forgot to I crunched up the chips and I put them on. Ooh, yikes. And put them on for like a little crunch or something, you know? Or like act like it's kind of like me. I don't know. Uh huh. Mm. Hmm. It's a little spicy. Um, I've noticed. <sighs> I've noticed when you heat up that white cheese, it gets like really spicy. But it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, mm. yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. I really can only taste the white cheese, <laughs> which kind of makes sense, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Hmm. I wouldn't call this a win, but I really wouldn't call it a fail either. Um, because like with what I had in my refrigerator and stuff, like I think I did pretty good. So anyway, we'll keep eating it, but. I'm so excited. I. Listen, if you don't notice, I am in the same exact t-shirt that I filmed my other video in because I'm filming it actually the same day, but I don't really have time tomorrow to film, so whatever. Um, because I am thinking about actually, so I'm thinking about doing um, a day in the life of Zach because it's not really that eventful, but I think it kind of is. So like, I just gotta pick like what day I wanna do it because on Monday and Wednesday I have class, so like, it's kinda like boring, you know? So like I might do it when I do like work at like both my jobs. 
and take you to like both of them because I think that would be kind of fun. Um, and then just like, I don't know, see what else I do. Because I really don't honestly, like when people ask me what I do in my free time, it's just like, I, honestly I don't know. I lay in bed and I watch a lot of YouTubes, um, YouTubes, well, YouTube. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. Um, I love watching like movies and stuff, but like I don't, like throughout the day I just kind of like to do my thing, you know? Oh, yeah, and then we're pretending like this is um, tequila water. Like, earlier we pretended it was wine, like, now it's tequila water. I am thinking about, though, like, like, I don't know, doing a video, like, when, like, I actually, like, get Zach to turn. Like, it's just, like, kind of scary because, um, lately I haven't been drinking during the week. I only drink on the weekends on, like, a weekend bender type thing. And it hasn't been turning out, like, in my favor or anything. It's actually been, like, kind of bad, but... Like, whatever. It's my, you know, like, it's my life. And you're only in college for so long. This is so nasty to look at, actually. Ugh. Mm. What? Well, I, I actually, I just put a gum. It's just like, I pretty much just should have put the white cheese on and not even worried about the pizza sauce. But I, like, wanted to really, like, try to make, like, a Mexican pizza. Because in grade school, I used to make tortilla pizzas all the time. Actually, not even grade school, high school. I learned it in a cooking class, and, like, I don't know. It's really good. So, I will do that one time. You literally just put your tortilla in the oven, and then you toast it for, like, just, like, a minute or two. Oh. Just so, like, it kind of... And it hardens up a little bit and it's all like this. And you take it out and you put pizza sauce on it and cheese and like whatever topping you want on it, like pepperoni and stuff. I actually just did uh, cheese though. But yeah, and then just put it back in the oven for just a little bit more and then it's so like a personal pizza on a tortilla shell. And it was pretty good. I used to have it after school all the time. Listen to all them. Did like your mom or dad ever make like <laughs> weird snacks? Like something like why did you ever do like weird food things, right? Well, so my mom, <coughs> excuse me, my mom used to make these things called Cracker Delights. Let me tell you, I wouldn't necessarily call it a delight. Well, well, I don't even know how she really even thought of it, honestly. Like it had to have been like passed down from the family or something, or maybe like a pregnancy thing, but it would be like a Ritz cracker. And then, um, she'd put mayonnaise on it, a triangle of the line. You had to make sure it's a triangle, like you had to cut it well. And then a pickle on top. Usually a bread and butter pickle, I think. And then she would literally make like a good plate full. Like, I don't know. Like the weird thing is I used to eat it. <laughs> like, I used to eat them just fine. But now that I'm older, and like I think about bologna and like pickles and mayonnaise together, oh, that's just kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it again one time. I have not had it since like grade school. We used to as a kid though, when we were young, like, um, we would put applesauce on frozen pizza. Only frozen pizza. And like, I don't, we used to have applesauce like out the wazoo. I mean, like, mom would buy like, you know, like, big old jug of it. And one day I just put it, like, I, well, well, because we started because we wanted our pizza to cool down because it was so hot when it came out of the oven. It's so like, you know, instead of just waiting like a normal kid would probably do, we put applesauce on it and then it just kind of stuck for a while. I haven't done that actually in a long time because I actually haven't had frozen pizza in, like, a while. Because now I get, like, well, I always say you get order pizza or um, those, like, Walmart pizzas are really freaking good. You know, they're, like, pretty cheap, too. We're not frozen. We're just like there. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know. I'm just so ready for like cool weather because today was like 80 again and like I just want it to be cold. I just need it to be cold. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. So like the more I eat this, it's pretty good. Mm -mm. 
like I really feel like I wouldn't wouldn't necessarily like get first place in a competition with this on the Food Network, but like on Marsh Cooks in America, like this definitely like it wouldn't like lose. Obviously, I would definitely get put on the team. Yeah, for sure. I don't. It's just hard because I hate going to Walmart. It, like stressing me out, and um, I just like hate looking up recipes and stuff. And I talked about this earlier, but I really do like. It's just so annoying. Whatever. Whatever. Well, I'm gonna chalk this afternoon snack. Let's see. How am I gonna rank my afternoon snacks? We're gonna have a ranking system of Food Network Star, Could Pass on Worst Cooks in America, Should Never Have Left the Kitchen. And this obviously is gonna be Could Pass on Worst Cooks in America. Like, not Food Network Star level. But hopefully, if I really think about it, I can do like a couple Food Network ones because they just make, okay, Ray, they just make the tasty videos look so easy and simple. Like, obviously, I know it's not going to take a minute and 45 seconds to make a three-course steak dinner. But, seriously, like, they, and the, everything just turns out so, like, perfect and great. Like, I don't, I need, like, a breakdown, you know? Not just, oh, throw this together, throw this together, and then simmer. I don't even know what simmer means. Like, how do I know if it's simmering? Or like, what? there was one I was watching the other day that I wanted to do, and it said something about, oh, reduce. Like, what am I, what am I reduce it to? You know, so I mean, I guess that's obvious because I don't cook a lot, but. Whatever. Mm. Cheers to that.